Do you need to stock up on food for later? I say mostly no. Instead, you should plan out menus and shopping lists to avoid food waste. In this week's Parshat Parshat Zav, we continue learning the laws of sacrifices. The text says that each offering that you bring has an expiration date in terms of eating the leftovers. If you don't eat the remains by a certain point, you're required to burn them. At first glance, this seems like a wasteful practice, but there are actually several things to be learned here. Number one, planning is key. The first part of that is that you need to know when you'll bring the offering and understand how much will remain after you make the offering. The second thing you need to know is how many people will be partaking of the offering so that there are no leftovers or waste. The third thing that you need to understand when planning is don't try to manage more than what needs doing. The result is excess, meaning bring an offering you know that you'll have the capacity to finish. The second thing that we learn from this practice is that forcing you to eat all of the offering discourages hoarding because it doesn't allow you to keep or have more than what you need and having possible waste down the line. So as you're planning your Pesach menus and for Shabbat in general, I encourage you to keep this idea in front of your mind, specifically because it is also true of the Pesach offering, the Korban Pesach. When planning your meals for Pesach or Shabbat, consider your guest list, but keep in mind what will actually get eaten. Leftovers are okay, but only if people will actually eat them. While I understand the desire to have extra just in case, we want to avoid hoarding food that might just go to waste anyways. Yes, there is a balance, especially when you're planning for a seven or eight day holiday. There is advanced shopping and preparation that needs to get done, but it's not an apocalypse situation, even though the grocery store kind of makes it feel like it is. The key is to get what you need without going overboard, and you do that by planning meals and shopping lists. So 